Hello and welcome to our channel. So, winter has finally come. For over a week, the temperature has been in the negative 20 degrees Celsius range. This is a great time for fun and games, but for car drivers it is also a time for difficulties. One of the main nightmares is starting a car with a cold engine. First of all, the motor oil may freeze, and it may become difficult to start the engine. Secondly, when the temperature is this low, the car battery partly loses its capacity and fails to provide a sufficient charge to start the car. Jump starters were invented specifically to solve this problem. We have filmed a review of such a device before, but at that time the weather conditions were quite different. The temperature was around 10 or 15 degrees Celsius and some of our subscribers have mentioned that, because of this, the review was not objective. This particular car has not been started for over a week and so it is impossible to start it in a regular way. So, we will now try using the D28 jump starter to do this. Let's clean the car first. This car is equipped with a petrol engine. Its capacity is above 2 liters. Let's try starting it. This is the main reason why the car cannot be started. The battery is dead. We will use the clamp beater to get a somewhat of impression of the condition of the battery and its voltage. So, the voltage between the terminals is 9.8 volts, a lot lower than the stated 12 volts. Let's connect the jump starter or, more specifically, its clamps. Mind the polarity. Black is negative, it is also important to provide a good contact, and red is positive. Then connect the jump starter. However, we will first try starting the car without it to make sure that it really is impossible to do. The conditions are made even more real by the fact that the jump starter is not fully charged. Only three bars light up when you switch it on. This will be an even harder job for the device. So, let's try starting the car in a regular way first. This car is started by the start stop button so there cannot be any manipulations from my side. Well, you saw for yourself, the car cannot be started. Let's now connect the jump starter and try one more time. Let's wait for several seconds to give a chance for the battery to pre-charge, so to speak. It is very important to wait at least 30 seconds before starting a car in order not to damage the device. The device really works, even under such low temperature conditions. Let's now take a closer look at the D28 jump starter. The device comes in a light green case like this made of very pleasant material. Let's check what's inside. The jump starter itself, user manual, clamps for starting a car, multifunctional USB cable, there is a lighting connector, a 30-pin connector for Apple devices, micro and mini USB, a set of adapters, and a cable for charging a laptop. 
a 220 volt power adapter to charge the device from the mains, and a power cable to charge the device in a car. The jump starter is made of soft touch plastic. All inputs and controls are on this side. An LED flashlight is on this one. A 12 volt socket for starting a car is located under this rubber plug. A power button is the next one. Then the socket for charging the built-in battery. A 5 volt USB output. Multifunctional button, a charge indicator. The temperature here is nearly 40 degrees higher than outside, and so the indicator shows a full charge. And an output for charging a laptop or a netbook. An output voltage indicator is right next to it. This output is activated by a single press of the multifunctional button. The modes are switched consequently with each press. 12 volts, 16 volts, and 19 volts. The LED flashlight is switched on by pressing and holding the multifunctional button. The modes are also switched by pressing the button. Flashing, more frequent flashing, and off state. Here is how the process of charging a cell phone looks. Switch on the job starter first, connect the multifunctional cable to the USB output, choose the connector that you need, in our case it's micro USB, connect it to your cell phone. The device is charging. You do not necessarily have to use this multifunctional cable, your regular cell phone power cable will work as well. The device has another very useful function, charging a laptop or a netbook. Choose the necessary adapter from the set and connect it to your laptop. We have removed its battery, now let's try connecting it to the jump starter. Before connecting the cable to the jump starter, we need to switch to the necessary voltage mode first. Carefully check the battery or the bottom panel of your laptop to find out what voltage you need. In our case, it's 19 volts. Let's now try starting the laptop. As you can see, it's working without the battery, with the jump starter as its only power source. Using a D28 jump starter, you will be able to start a car with a dead battery, as well as charge a cell phone, a tablet, or even a laptop. Like this video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe to our channel. See you soon!